Uh, we'll move to our next question. We're going to go, uh, talk about a sort of a change, uh, diverse people we've talked about. Well, we're going to talk about very diverse subjects. We're going from friendships to dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> so um, we've got a couple of questions here from uh, Lukman Ahmed Babersab from Germany. Assalamu alaikum, and thank you for your question. And also from Sabrina in uh, New York in the USA. Thank you very much for your question, um, uh, Sabrina. Both of these talk about dinosaurs and how they used to roam the earth. And the question is really how they fit into the context of the Holy Quran, the references that the Quran may have given into this, and what significance, if any, does that particular time of the when dinosaurs ruled the earth hold in terms of um, the Holy Quran itself? Dr. Saab, if I could start with you on that. Dinosaurs rule the earth. They don't, <laughs> thankfully, now. Mm, absolutely. But uh, it's something that causes uh, great, captures the imagination of humans. Uh, it, you know, I can remember early on sort of watching cartoons at a younger age on dinosaurs featured. They were friendly creatures then. It's only when you got older you realize <laughs> they were how ferocious they were. Absolutely. I think Hollywood films have got a lot to answer <laughs> for with regard to dinosaurs. Actually, the word dinosaur apparently means a terrible lizard. And I think from, from that angle, that's where the word actually comes from. But what um, strikes me when we consider dinosaurs or any other animal creation which has become extinct or which is still present, is it reminds us of the vastness of the creation of God Almighty. And it brings to our minds that this universe, this world that God Almighty has created, man is not able to be able to fathom how deep and vast, vast that is. Uh, it's only that the fossils which were discovered have now science proven categorically that these animals did exist mm -hmm. and they did roam uh, around in the world and what they were and what they were. The timing is something Jurassic period or not or pre-Jurassic period is also something that is a little bit under debate but millions of years ago I think we can safely say that 270 million years ago that these animals were, uh, were roaming the earth. Scientists do have uh, a lot of difficulty in trying to define as to how many species of animals there are. And this, I think, to me struck uh, a very important aspect is that they have now said that we have identified that there are up to 8.7 million species of animals. Now that is a staggering number of animals. And, it, and scientists also say that many of these life forms will become extinct even before man is able to recognize these even today. So that is what is going on as far as, far as life forms are concerned. However, because dinosaur fossils have now been discovered or were discovered and man is now able to understand the concept of dinosaurs, this is something that we know that definitely did exist. The Holy Quran speaks of the creation of God Almighty, in fact, and speaks of the universe and the skies and the heavens and also life forms as such. Obviously 8.7 million if species and animals were mentioned in the Holy Quran, we would have nothing but. <laughs> these <laughs> like, huh? and what, a, what a compendium <laughs> and a library we would of need. Names. <laughs> of yeah. na Just names, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But the word dhabba is a, a word that is mentioned in the Holy Quran and that is said by some uh, scholars to refer to life forms which include the life forms of uh, the dinosaurs as such. So there is, an, uh, in that word, it's Allah has alluded to the fact that there were beasts which used to crawl about, move about upon the earth, which were life form of that degree. So there is, in reference to that, mention in the Holy Quran as that is concerned. But as I say, the creation of Allah from that angle of numbers alone is so great that uh, we can but look and admire at the creation of God and how he has put all these things into our system so that we are able to in fact benefit uh, aren't we as as we are today from these aspects of animal creation of Allah the Almighty. Allah. And Jangir Sab, just as a quick point on this, I mean, I mean I think it would be remiss of me not to mention this whole thing about evolution and the theory and that dinosaurs roamed the earth, they went from the sea to the land and so on and so forth. Indeed, you know, the people who reject the creationist theory will talk to this of evolution being from dinosaurs. I suppose there's a question to be added there as well. Are there, you know, how dinosaurs and in the modern day, are there animals from the animal kingdom that reflect, and they probably are lizards, as was talked about in certain respects, 
I know when I was travelled to Pakistan and you see these small, you know, amplified a few times, they look pretty ferocious to me. Yeah. But this whole idea um, that, you know, that was there a place for them and had they not roamed, I suppose, would humankind have existed thereafter? Everything has a, a purpose in the creation of Allah. There is nothing in the Quran, as uh, Dr. Saab has pointed out, which goes against the fact that dinosaurs would have been there. But I think the main, the main uh, question which uh, has to be born from these two questions we've received today is what is the place for dinosaurs in a system where people believe that the world was created in six days? How, how do you fit them in? And this is the eternal question which uh, the creationists have to face. Uh, given that they only believe that the earth um, uh, has existed, uh, you know, was created in six days and then it's, uh, it's existed only for 6,000 years since Adam, peace be upon him. So that's their dilemma, isn't it? But you see, in Islam, fortunately, we don't believe that. We know that the word yawm in Arabic, which means one of the meanings of which is a day, also means a period. And Allah himself in the Holy Quran specifies that when I say a day, sometimes I mean 1,000 years. Mm -hmm. And when I say a day, sometimes I mean 50,000 years. So there are different periods which could be represented by the word day. When he says, I created the world with, with everything in it in six days, he means therefore six periods. And this could be, could be extrapolated. Sure. I remember once, um, it, uh, a very it was a peculiar thing because I had to do the calculation when I was sitting in Liqam al-Arab, uh, you know, the, the, the meeting yeah. between Hazrat Khalifa Rabi Rahimahullah and the Arab speakers. Imam Saab happened to be on holiday at the time. Mm -hmm. And so somehow he had uh, managed to get me in to sit in, <laughs> in his place to my great uh, you know, fright to have to, because the thing in that program is that you have to look for the uh, Quranic verses there and there then when Hazur needs them. So that was a bit of a frightening prospect. But anyway, Allah helped. But the thing is that Hazur was saying that I wanted to, I want to talk about the, the age of the universe when the universe, since it was created until it will dis disappear, it's mentioned in the Holy Quran and he, he calculated it out of these two verses, one which mentions the day as being a, a period of a thousand years and another one of 50,000 according to what we count. And he said, uh, find those two verses for me. So I had to get them out, I got them out. And then he said, now uh, uh, work out the, you know, the how, how, it, how it, it happens. And uh, he said, basically, every th in, in uh, those thousand years, every year has 365 days. That will be 365,000 days. And he said, now Allah is saying that every one of those days is worth 50,000 years according to what you compute, or how you compute. So now you have to multiply 365,000 right. by, by 50,000. 50, 50, and the figure, and Allah says that this is the period which will, it will take for the, the decree to go from Allah and to return back to Him again meaning that he's going to create the earth and the, the heavens and everything in space, in the universe, and it will be wrapped up again. And that works out to be 18 billion 250 million years. Okay. And uh, science now tells us that the age of the universe is something near 12 mi billion years. Yeah. And uh, so that fits nicely within the 18 billion 250 yeah. million. And according to the Holy Quran, this will be the age of the universe when it is wrapped up. So when you're speaking of a scheme of things on that level, dinosaurs fit in comfortably. <laughs> There's no problem at all. There's no problem. On the other hand, if you're a literalist, then you can't fit them in. You have to squeeze them into those 6,000 years, which is impossible. You see, science has proved it wrong. So Islam, when it's interpreted correctly, gives you a lot of uh, answers to what uh, uh, science is, is throwing at you. And uh, by the grace of Allah, we don't fear science. On the contrary, science and uh, Allah's word go hand in hand. So just to be clear, from that interpretation, from start to the end of days, which is sometimes as it's termed, would be a period of? 18 billion. 18 billion. 250 million, and don't forget it. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, no need to worry about the end of time just yet, I suppose. And th thank God we're in a separate time from the dinosaurs. Yes, in actual fact, you see, the Holy Quran talks about creating man. But then God also talks about well, Jibillat al awwalin ah. Others before us. So it means that before we were created, there were quite a number of other creation. Uh -huh. So it says, وَتَقُلَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالْجِبِلَّةَ الْأَوَّلِينَ Fear Allah who created you 
and other creation before you. And this can be found in 26 chapter and verse 185 of the Holy Quran. Now, that means that in the uh, billions of years that the world has taken to evolve, as we see it now, there have been so many creations, creations that we know of, creations that we do not also know of. God actually talks about creation that we do not know of. So those that we know of, one of them, of course, would be dinosaurs, because they existed 230 million years ago. And then they got extinct 66 million years ago. Now, the curious thing is, from the Greek word, you know, dinos, we have dinosaurs, which means frightening, uh, the uh, big and terrifying thing. And uh, the, the, the wonderful thing is these huge creatures have rather gone extinct. One of the smaller ones are still alive. Mm -hmm. We are still around, which means that they were created for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And just as our panelists have said, nothing that God does is without purpose. In fact, God's attribute is hakim, which means that the wise. So whatever he does, is based on deep wisdom. And so these dinosaurs were created in order to make way for the other creatures that came later. And there is another very interesting thing that science has not discovered. Uh, when we talk about, uh, uh, Dr. Sabos talking about this, uh, you know, the fossil fuels, yeah. you know. Now we know that uh, you have uh, uh, carbon, out of it is coal, and then they use it to run furnaces, you know, to melt uh, ore. Mm. And then they use it also for embalming. Yes. And uh, now when you, you go to various lands and you talk about the oil find, is the remains, according to some of the scientists, of the dinosaurs and other creation have contributed. that have contributed also. to mm. the, the, the oil find that we have today. Mm. Yeah. And if you connect it with the Industrial Revolution, then you see the, the mm. sort of uh, purpose for which mm. and they created these uh, things. So they have not been created for nothing. They have been created under some very, very uh, great wisdom of the Almighty and for the great benefit of mankind and civilization as a whole. Gentlemen, Jazakumullah has ever a very comprehensive and very detailed answer um, to the question and I'm sure our questioners uh, will agree with that and the connection between uh, the age, you know, of when the dinosaurs roamed the, um, the Jurassic age and the modern age is uh, well made. Jazakumullah, gentlemen.